All right. Um, this went down well enough for the uh, Siberia settings, so I figured I'd just show um, the kind of fairly small tweak you need to do to get still life running. Um, it's a bit more complicated, but not much. Um, to start with, you actually need the latest version this time. Um, I tested this with a version from about a year ago, and it doesn't work. Um, the game still starts in full screen. So, if you want to window still life, so you can um, can do the screen region thing, get the latest version. Um, I guess that's 2.24. It's still a really small download, so it'll finish in no time. And you can still put it kinda wherever, as long as you know where it is. So, <coughs> there is no preset for still life, um, the way it is for Siberia. So, just go edit, add, find your still life um, game. Exe. Um, once again, it is game.exe. It is not the game title.exe. This is just a launcher. This is the game. I'll just name it Still Life. Um, now, if I were to just leave these settings, um, it wouldn't work. What you need to do is check this hook all DLLs. And this doesn't actually work on older versions, I find, of DX, Wind, Windowed, whatever. Um, so that's why you need the latest version. So A, latest version, B, check this box. Now, I actually prefer to uncheck this run, run in window. It will still run in a window. I'm not actually sure the specifics of what this setting does, um, but I seem to get more consistent results um, by unchecking this. Um, so, I'll explain that in a bit, but for now, one thing you may want to know is if you want to use these controls, um, the X and Y position and width and height of the window, you need to activate lock win coordinates, because if you don't, The game will start in at the, uh, the top left every time. Um, these are actually not in effect. So if we do lock win coordinates, it's now 50 by 50 down. So, um, right, there's one thing we need to do. One more thing, and I'll show you why we need to do it. Where's the crime scene again? It's on the second floor. Miller's waiting for you in the hall. Notice how his mouth is extremely glitchy? Where's the crime scene again? It's on the second floor. Miller's waiting for you in the hall. Now, this is because the animations are actually um, synced to the frame rate. So if we just show the frame rate here. Um, with a modern graphics card, this game runs at an insane frame rate. Um, Where's the crime scene again? It's on the second floor. Miller's waiting for you in the hall. So the animation sync is way out of whack. Um, what you need to do is limit the frame rate and You want to limit it to 60 FPS, because that's that seems to be what it's synced to. Um, that's a frame rate of 1000 by 17. So, if we pick 17, it's a little under 60 FPS. If we pick 16, it's a little over 60 FPS. You'd want it at 16.67, but, well, it only goes down to milliseconds, so... 17 is the closest we'll get. Um, now, if we try it... Uh, 
Note the frame counter. It's at 59, 58, instead of the four or five hundred. Where's the crime scene again? It's on the second floor. Miller's waiting for you in the hall. And the animations actually work. So... I think that's kind of it. Well, see... It may be easier for you to screen region the game if you check this box, fix window frame style and lock win style. What this does is... Well, okay. As you noticed, it removes all the borders, um, but you may want to put it in a corner first. So this will be very easy to screen region. Um, you don't have any um, window borders showing up on the stream. Um, let's try um, increasing this resolution because I actually haven't tried it. Yeah, it works. So you can you can enlarge the game and damn that looks terrible, but you can. Where's the crime scene again? It's on the second floor. Miller's waiting for you in the hall. Yeah, that looked kind of terrible. I'm not sure I'd recommend doing that. <laughs> um, but um, that's all you need to do. Um, hook all DLLs, uncheck this. Um, oh, right. Um, what I mean when I say I get more reliable results with this unchecked is if I ha leave this checked, the animations will occasionally still glitch. Um, they will kind of on a rare occasion, um, regardless of this setting, but I seem to get a little more stable results without it checked, so I don't actually know what that does. It runs in a window, whatever it's it's set to, so I don't know. Um, these are maybe the settings I'd recommend. Um, the defaults for everything else should work just fine. So, yeah. Just run it like that, and screen region the window, and you should get a working source. See ya again.